Since January of this year, Department of Corrections officers have been working around the clock, not overseeing prisoners, but overseeing the construction of at least half a dozen huts for the upcoming Festival of Pacific Arts. Working in plain clothes, they were seen at the site performing construction duties over the past several weeks. Are you guys building these huts? Uh, yes. Yeah. It's for the festival. Uh, I'm up at Corrections. You'll see. Oh, what are you so, doing there? I'm a correction officer. So, um... Like an officer? Yeah. Are you guys getting paid or...? No. Not getting paid? I can't see. Officers at the site shied away from specifying whether they were on duty or receiving hazardous pay while building the huts. They instead referred us to the supervisor on duty. I know that some of the, the people there building the huts are DOC officers. Um, can you say whether or not they're on duty or off duty, or are they volunteering? Uh, you're going to have to call um, uh, Lieutenant Limo on that. DOC spokesperson Lieutenant Jeff Limo confirmed that seven to eight officers who volunteered to assist FESPAC are building huts at Paseo. And while they are on duty getting paid, they are not receiving hazardous pay or overtime. He added that while DOC is always in need of officers, it is managing. He said if needed to augment any shortage, DOC would pull in exterior division units so as to not hamper operations, something it hasn't had to do yet. But with three huts nearing completion and another three huts to go, the officers could be there for months more. FESPAC Organizing Committee Chair Nate Knight said while he didn't have the specifics regarding this situation, with FESPAC 60 days out, Gov Guam is using every resource it can to prepare. The governor did a proclamation regarding FESPAC. Uh, the organizing committee under the office of the governor was set up by law. And so this is, a, this is a really a government event. We're putting it on as an island, so that's why everyone has to get involved. And we all have to pull together public sector and private sector to, to get this major event done. Senator Frank Uggen Jr., who oversees public safety, said FESPAC is a government-sponsored event. And DOC has always been a go-to agency to aid Gov Guam. However, he added that to ensure public safety, DOC officers should be present at the correctional facility. He added that if correctional officers are assisting FESPAC, he hopes it doesn't compromise the agency's mission. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Isa Baza.